Le seul architecte, c'est la nature. Les forêts françaises captent à peu près 10% des émissions annuelles de la France. Donc c'est vraiment important euh, de les préserver euh, pour lutter contre le changement climatique. We have to adapt the forest and the trees to the new climate we experience here in France. Hello and welcome to France in Focus. Today we are deep in the French countryside to explore the state of France's forests. Now across the world our green spaces are under threat. They're shrinking under the pressures of climate change, deforestation and rapid urban development. France though is bucking the trend. Here there are 16 million acres of forest up and down the country and they're only getting bigger. France is known for its lush and magnificent forests. Over the past hundred years, they've more than doubled in size. This was largely caused by the rural exodus, when French people fled the countryside for the city during the Industrial Revolution. But it's also due to the development of intensive modern agriculture, which demands less space for greater harvests. These two key factors allowed French forests to slowly reclaim their space. Today, nearly a third of France's territory is covered by woodland. And even if the trend has slowed over the past 30 years, French forests continue to branch out. Some 90,000 hectares of trees emerge from the earth every year, a surface area nine times the size of Paris. France has the fourth largest forests in Europe, behind Sweden, Finland and Spain. Spain's planting new trees at an impressive rate, but not necessarily for ecological reasons. A large proportion of saplings are eucalyptus, destined to be cut down and turned into paper. Critics say they help spread the forest fires that devastate swathes of Spanish woodland every year. The UK, meanwhile, is planning on planting some 50 million firs over the next 25 years to create a vast new forest in the north of England. Firs are among the best trees for absorbing carbon dioxide. To get a more in-depth look at how France's green spaces are doing in 2019, I came here to Paris's biggest park, the Bois de Vincennes, to meet Adeline Favrel. She's the forest manager at the NGO France Nature Environment. Hi, Adeline. Hi. Now, thanks for joining us today. We are here in the Bois de Vincennes in Paris, but tell us in general, all over France, are forests at risk? No, French forests are not really in danger. We don't have a deforestation problem in France, but we do have other issues. There has been a loss of biodiversity in France, and forests are key habitats for biodiversity. As other habitats disappear due to agriculture, for example, whose use of pesticides harms the soil, forests are starting to have greater biodiversity. That's why we must continue to protect forests. Why is it so important to protect green spaces like this? Is it primarily about fighting climate change? We, yes, because forests are so-called carbon stores. They're able to capture CO2 from the atmosphere, then store it in their trunk and their foliage. CO2 is responsible for climate change. French forests capture about 10% of France's annual emissions, so it's really important to protect them to fight against climate change. Now we know the government is at least considering plans to cut down thousands of trees uh, to use the wood. Why is that so dangerous? It's both a danger and an opportunity. The danger is obviously that if we cut down too many trees, the carbon store will decrease and fighting against climate change becomes complicated. However, if you use wooden materials to make furniture or in construction, the carbon captured during the tree's life will still remain in the wood. And using wood as a material is better for the environment than using steel or PVC. Adeline, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. The 
Romainville Forest is a rare green oasis in the Paris region, but city officials have big plans for the space. They want to create a so-called leisure island in its centre, and that involves knocking down around a third of the area's trees. Now, queue, as you can imagine, fury by local environmental activists. They staged a sit-in last year to try and stop the bulldozers. France 24's David Gilbert went to meet them. They've lost the battle, but are continuing to fight to save what's left of the Corniche des Forts. Closed to the public, the forest in the eastern suburbs of Paris has grown naturally in old quarries over the last 60 years. There was no human intervention. The only architect is nature itself. Authorities decided to clear a third of the forest to build a so-called leisure island. Activists' efforts to stop the bulldozers were in vain. The bulldozers arrived on the 8th of October 2018. That same day, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change begged leaders to plant more trees and forests. That day, a video of French singer Catherine Ringer drawing attention to the deforestation made the rounds on social media. But the forest's fate was already sealed. We're losing a green space in an area where there are already a lot of problems concerning pollution, industrial wastelands and so forth. Our campaign was just to simply let the forest be. It's been there for 60 years. Stop bothering it. Forests play a crucial role by absorbing CO2 emissions. But environmentalists are also concerned about the biodiversity, already a rarity in the Paris region, that has made the green space its home. Developers say the project won't pose a threat to wildlife. Everything possible was done to make the animals understand that they must migrate towards a protected space. Supporters of the project say the forest could still be enjoyed in specially created outdoor areas nearby, areas of the former quarry that would be refilled with soil and made safer for the public. The subsoil is full of holes. It's dangerous for trespassers and for the forest itself. An argument rejected by local activists who say landslides in the forest are rare. They've asked local officials to declare the forest a nature reserve amid worries that developers won't honor their promise to protect some 50 acres from development. Our next stop, this forest southeast of Paris. We're here to meet Stéphane Allaire, the founder of Reforest Action, an NGO that encourages us to offset our carbon footprint by planting trees. Stéphane, hi. Hi. So we are here in uh, what looks like an empty field, but this place used to be full of ash trees. What happened here? Yeah, it was full of ash trees and they were damaged by a disease and we had to cut them down because they, they were quite hale and nothing could be done with these trees. But it's not an empty field, it's a forest already because we, we did plant some oak trees here. But they're quite little, right? They're one or two years old. And they come from a nursery, a tree nursery, and they will grow for the next 200 years. And why did you pick oak trees here to replace the ash ones that uh, were diseased? That's a good one, actually, because the oak trees are well adapted to the land, to the soil and to the local climate. But also they are not impacted by the same disease as the ash trees, so they will be fine here. But we've, we've planted oak trees, but not only, as well fruit trees, because we want biodiversity in this forest. And why is biodiversity uh, so important for forests like this? Oh, because at Reforest Action, we strongly believe that biodiversity is the best life insurance for the forest. It increases uh, the, um, the chances for the forest to resist to the climate change, you know, to storms, to diseases, to insects, and so on. So the, the more diversity you have, the stronger the forest will be. How big of an impact, in your opinion, is climate change having on forests like this in France? It's already a, a big problem. Um, climate change is here already. Um, we have experienced huge damages in, in France on forests due to climate change. 
there, is, there are very long summers, very dry summers, and the trees suffer a lot from these, um, from these summers. So we have to adapt the forest and the trees to the new climate we experience here in France. Now there's been lots of talk in France recently, not just about deforestation, but about bad reforesting of trees. Why is that a controversial issue? Why is that a problem? There are different ways to approach forests and forest management. Um, you're right, most of the plantations are done with one single tree species. It's easier to manage to, to cut the trees when you have only one species because um, they're all the same size, so it's easier to get into the forest and to do what you have to do with these trees, right? Stefan Hallier, thank you uh, very much indeed. Thank you. And thanks to you for watching France in Focus. We'll see you next week.